Cooking. I'm your host, Cindy Schumacher. On today's show, we'll be making Missouri style Santa Fe stew, some like it hot cornbread, and margarita, frozen margarita pie. So, we're going to start with the pie. I have crumbled one and a fourth cups of pretzel sticks, and to that, I'm going to add one fourth cup of sugar and one half cup plus two tablespoons of melted butter. So we'll pour that in. I kind of thought that the, the Missouri style, the Santa Fe Missouri style stew was kind of Mexican and I, so I kind of tried to keep with that theme and so I thought a margarita pie would be fun and for summer it's just kind of a lighter a lighter pie. So I'm going to pour it in, the, in a nine inch pie tin, flatten it out and up the sides. I'm going to put this in the oven at 350 and bake it just for about 10 minutes, just enough to set the to set the crust. It doesn't have to be really baked because there's nothing really, uh, no eggs or anything of that you want to baking. Get uh, okay. Looks like this. We're going to put it in the oven 350 for about 10 minutes. And then while that's uh, while that's uh, baking, I'm going to start whipping a cup of whipping cream for the filling. So it's very simple and very quick to make. The thing that takes the longest is to freeze it. So uh, the filling is a can of sweetened condensed milk. You can use the fat free or the regular. I'm using regular today. Okay, to this I'm going to add one third cup of real lime, the like this. Two tablespoons of triple sec. Triple sec is a liqueur. Um, It does have some alcohol in it and it has the flavor of a margarita, but I don't think it's too much that if you want it, children have a sliver. Tequila, two tablespoons. You're going to want to let that cool before you add your filling ingredients. So I'm going to uh, make the filling 
put it in the refrigerator for just a few minutes while the crust cools and then we'll pour it in. Now remember, if you want a copy of any of these recipes and you don't have internet, give the girls at Valley a call. They'd be happy to get you a copy. And if you do have internet, just go to the home page. Click on the call on the right. So I'm going to get this in the refrigerator. We'll clean up a little bit. We'll be right back. Blazing fast broadband internet from Valley is now available and better than ever. Let us help you decide which speed is best for you. The 50 meg speed would be sufficient for one to four devices mainly emailing and surfing the web. Our 100 meg speed works great for five to eight devices and multiple users streaming and downloading video. If you have eight devices or more that are simultaneously streaming or gaming, or if you have a medium sized business, the 250 meg speed would work best for you. For extreme heavy home or work from home use, or if you have a medium to large business using 15 or more devices, you may want to consider our 500 meg download speed to fit your needs. And if you're a home or business that needs it all, we have our 1000 meg, 1 gig broadband internet speed. Call our office today at 437-2615 and talk with one of our staff members to pick the speed that's best for you. Okay, we're going to start with the Santa Fe Stew Missouri style and we are going to use one tablespoon of olive oil and one tablespoon of safflower oil. Now if you can't find safflower oil, I googled because I couldn't find it either when I did my shopping for the show. So, and it said you can substitute canola oil. So that's what I'm substituting. Um, so I'm using a tablespoon of olive, a tablespoon of canola. And we're going to throw, I've got three cups of chicken breast that I have cooked and cubed, but we're going to brown it. Going and to brown it in the oil. And this just just for a few minutes, just to kind of get it warmed up. And while that's going, I have increased my oven temperature to 400 and um, we can start working on the some like it hot cornbread. They call it some like it hot because it has some green chilies. It really isn't hot. It just has a little bit of a, a zip to it. So I have a cup of cornmeal and three-fourths cup of flour, three tablespoons of sugar. I need two Two teaspoons of baking powder, a fourth teaspoon of chili powder, and a pinch of, of cayenne pepper. I'm just going to kind of scoop a little out. Hard to pinch in these little jars. I always whisk my ingredients together just to blend them well. It's a little bit of a stir now that's sizzling. Okay, I'm going to add one large purple onion that I have chopped. It looks pretty already whenever you have ingredients with all the colors it, it, uh, it makes a pretty dish. Okay, I need a half teaspoon of garlic powder. Going back and forth with my measuring spoon. I don't know what happened to my lips. Okay, and I'm 
put it in the wrong spot. I always alphabetize my spices so I can find them easier. Half teaspoon of onion powder. with parsley. I'm using a little bit more. I have fresh parsley from my herb garden. So, you know, it kind of gives it a little more color and it'll, the parsley will give you a little bit of a peppery, a little bit of a peppery flavor. I'm using a packet of taco seasoning. You can use whatever temperature that you like. I'm using an original, so it'll be kind of medium. If you like it a little zestier, you can do that. If you want it a little milder, you can choose a mild taco seasoning. I have a half cup of chicken broth that's um, deep added. of the ingredients and uh, we're going to bring it up to a good strong boil and then we're going to reduce it and simmer it for 25 minutes. So I have three cans of diced Mexican tomatoes not drained. You can use home canned. I just happen to be out of my home canned tomatoes. You know whatever you like but and I kind of there's a lot of tomatoes to choose from there's you know all kinds of but I used I just chose a Mexican dice I thought that kind of was appropriate for this okay I have a half cup of whole kernel corn and they said it calls for a seven ounce can of green chilies they don't have green in the seven ounce cans that I could find so I'm just going to use two four ounce cans. We'll have a little extra, but that's just, they're mild anyway, so it's not going to be too much. And a can of pinto beans that I have rinsed and drained. Mix it around real good so that the flavors blend. this. Um, I'll, I'll take a quick break while uh, we clean up and we'll be right back and we'll fill the pie. Get three months free access on all lines plus a new 4G smartphone for only $4.99 a month. Two great offers with Valley Cellular. Call Valley today at 437-2615 to take advantage of this great deal. Okay, we're going to fill the pie and get that in the freezer. Now, if you want to make this pie look a little fancier, I forgot to, to uh, pick up some limes or some lemons. You can make some zest, but they said in the, in the cookbook that I found this recipe, they said any citrus. So uh, lemons, limes, oranges, if you want to do some zesting on top to just give it a little bit of, of color because it is kind of just a white filling. But it is delicious and it's refreshing for, it's a good summer pie. So we'll get this chilling and uh, we'll be right back. It's, this is boiling so I'm going to uh, reduce the heat so it just simmers. It smells Wonderful. All right, so we've got two tablespoons of butter. 
that we're going to cut into the cornmeal and, and flour mixture. You can use a fork. I, I prefer a pastry blender. So we'll get that cut in there. Remember, if you want a copy of any of these recipes, and if you don't have internet, just give the girls of Valley a call and they'd be happy to help you with a copy. This cornbread is, is delicious, and the nice thing is, you don't have raising time, and it bakes in 17 minutes. So it's, you know, sometimes if you're thinking of something in a hurry, and a lot of times I'll throw together a chili of some kind, and when you can do a cornbread in 17 minutes, you can pop it in, and while you're making the chili, by the time you're done, the cornbread is ready. So to this, then, we're going to add 3 fourths cup of milk. One large egg white, two tablespoons of sweet red bell pepper that I have finely diced. That gives it a little flavor, it gives it a little color. And then we have two tablespoons of green chilies that are chopped. Here again, you can use the, the spice that you want. Green chilies will come in a, in a mild, in a medium, and in a hot. So uh, just choose the the temperature that you like. Okay, that's all there is to it. We're just going to pour it in an 8x8. Eight eight. I've sprayed it with Pam. Got the oven at 400. We're going to put it in for 17 minutes. We'll be right back. Faster than fast internet is here. Valley now has higher broadband speeds of up to one gigabit. Get the bandwidth you need for all your devices at one time. Gaming with no lag time. Video stream your favorite movies instantly in HD quality. Video chat with friends and family without interruption. Download your favorite music and photos in seconds. All on our 100% fiber optics network. Valley offers managed Wi-Fi and backup services too. Bringing together all the services you need. Valley Telecommunications Cooperative. Okay, bread's done. Let's get it out. got a little color to it because of the red peppers and the green chilies. You can serve it with a little honey on the side or you can make the honey butter if you like. And then we've got our Santa Fe stew Missouri style. And this is a nice thing for this time of the year when you don't want to use the oven for so long to you know bake something for three hours or so. It's nice to have something like this. So we've got our Santa Fe style Santa Fe stew, Missouri style, our Some Like It Hot Cornbread, our frozen margarita pie. Thanks for joining us on this edition of Country Cooking. We hope to see you next time.